Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Z06 vents from ACS on a Stingray Corvette. So many of you that have the base Stingray or the Z51 C7 Corvette you guys have the regular vent that's here in, in my fender right now. And I know a lot of you want to be able to change this out to a, a, a Z06 style, like which is what this is from ACS. And it can be a little bit intimidating. Um, I, I went ahead and I ordered, um, I was looking online on how to, how to do this, and it is pretty entailed. And so I went ahead and I said, okay, I'm going to bite the bullet. It can't be that hard. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'll order them from ACS and when I got it, I got a 23 step instruction manual on how to change these. Um, and it starts with taking the rear bumper completely off, basically removing your wheels, removing the fender wells, um, pretty much dissecting the whole back end of the car. And I said, nah, that, that, there's got to be an easier way than that. I mean, it's like you wouldn't want to do that. I mean, that's just a pain. I mean, if you had to, I guess, but so I dug into it a little bit and found that you don't have to do this. So in the video, you're going to see that we're, we're doing the passenger side and the driver side. So that way you, you see that there is a difference because the driver side has the gas door and that adds a little more, a little more to it uh, than doing it on the passenger side but uh, it's not as hard as it, as it looks and sounds. Um, on, on the passenger side, it's much easier, and in the video, you'll see that. But, um, I mean, look at the difference here on what, how much prettier this, this unit here is um, and more effective. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to tunnel more air down into the, into the cooling system. So, you know, the car is going to probably last longer, if not perform better, just to say, say the least, by keeping everything nice and cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into the video now and I'm going to show you both sides and that way you can make a decision on whether you want to do this or not, but it's, it's not that hard. It's, um, I think you're, you'll be fine after watching this video, you'll be able to do it yourself. So we're going to get started here, we're going to go ahead and be replacing the old uh, Z51 or Stingray vent here with the Z06 style vent and uh, we're just going to go ahead and take the we're going to pull the screws loose, we'll pull the fender out so we can get this changed out. So I'm going to show you here in just a second what we're pulling loose and we'll go from there. Okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our four screws here loose I'm just putting them into a little, little part tray there so I don't lose them. Now, I'm not, the, again, I've probably told you this many a times, I'm not the type of person that likes to use the power, power screw guns or anything like that. I don't want to be stripping anything out, so I do everything as much as I can by hand. So to get this door out of the way, it doesn't take a whole heck of a lot. Basically what you can do is it's designed, um, make sure you can see this in the camera, um, it's designed just to be able to open the door up like this and pull out towards you. And it just, it's just a little bit, there we go, just a little bit of pressure. It's got six keys on there so it just puts into a slot you push it forward when we go to put it back on it's going to move it out of the way 
This way we just don't have the, the door having the chance of getting, getting chipped or something. And then we also have these three screws here. Now all these screws are exactly the same so you don't have to worry about getting them confused or where they go. Um, the seven from the fender and the, the three here, they're all the same. Okay, now comes the fun part. This is the part that uh, you know you never like tugging and drilling and all that type of stuff on a on a car. So um, I'm gonna kind of scoot out of the way of the camera here. I'm gonna try to get over here to this edge, and uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Let me move the camera just a little bit over. There we go. And I'm just trying to get in here a little bit. Be able to pull pull that out just like that. Okay, so it's just, we just pulled it out from underneath the windowsill. We've got a little bit of dirt here from, you know, uh, <laughs> from it being put together for so long. And so we'll, we'll wipe that off when we get it all, all put back together. But we can move this back now just a little bit. And it should be just enough that we can get in there. And this side will be tight, there's no doubt about it. But there's, uh, you're going to use an 8 millimeter wrench here, um, or socket, whatever I can get in there to do, uh, to pull those three screws loose. And then once we get that part done, we'll pry this piece back out, and then we'll go, f we'll just pop the new one in, put the screws back in place. So um, I'm going to just, I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I'll let, I'll fast forward this through, so you don't have to watch me ratcheting everything, but. Um, it, this one will be the more of the challenge one because of the do the gas assembly that's in here um, We're not going to have as much clearance the fenders not going to come back as far as the other side But I wanted to show you both usually everybody on on YouTube doesn't want they don't show you this side They only show you the easy side. So so anyway um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that and just sit back and watch So you saw me go ahead, it was, we did it in fast forward, but you saw me uh, fight getting that off. It's not, not too, not too bit terrible, bad, but um, you know, you just had to kind of have to work this around to give yourself a little bit of room. Um, the screws actually, or the nuts on these, uh, this being a 2014, they had vibrated loose pretty much. So they were just kind of just sitting in there. So anyway, um, at this point, we can now we can go ahead and lift this thing up and out. Now we're probably uh, probably going to need this little pry tool that we were talking about. And you can pick this this kit up. This is one of like four pieces inside of a uh, uh, kit from Harbor Freight. You can pick them up for about seven or eight dollars. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to come underneath here and just pop it up a little bit. I'm going to get a towel and put it here just to protect it because I don't want it to touch the paint. I've got my towel here and I'm just literally going to in insert this underneath. I'm gonna to try to pry it up with my fingers a little bit. Just wanna get underneath there protecting the paint. I don't wanna, I don't wanna scratch this. So once I get it up underneath, then I should be able to pry it up. Just like so. And we can follow the edge around. And once we get a little bit more leverage on it, we can get underneath there and it'll pop up. Just take your time with it. It will come. It's just that there's these little spring-loaded clips in there. The more that you can pry on it yourself without, without the pry tool, the better you'll be. So I've got it pretty much pried loose, and so I'm just going to remove it, and then you can see that the, um, you know, the opening's all there. You can see where the two screws go here, and the one goes right up here. Um, so now at this point, we can pull this one out, 
put the, uh, I'm going to wipe everything down, we'll put the new one back in place, and then we'll reverse everything and tighten up the bolts, and uh, or I should say the nuts, and then put the fender back in place and we'll be good, we'll move, to the, move over to the other side. Like I said, I'm just going to be wiping this down here. Now some of you may actually run into something that um, I've only seen, um, I've seen it on the internet, I haven't seen it in person, but um, some, some of the years I guess the factory got a little carried away with putting glue uh, right here and the glue that holds this window in would stick onto this fender and so it would make it a little bit harder to get this fender loose. Um, but if that's the case, just you know, you can just work it. It will, it will come loose. So we've got our new Z06 vent. So we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to insert it. It should just fit right in. Okay. Snap right in, just like it's supposed to. Okay. And then we're just going to reach back up inside here, tighten up those nuts. And then uh, once we do that, then we can tuck the fender all back together and we're good to go. You saw that I got it all, all buttoned back up as far as getting the, the vent bolted back down. I don't want to fib to you guys and say that this isn't uh, pretty tough to get in there. You don't want to be like reefing the fender back so much that you break it. So, um, but you, there is enough room to do it. It just takes a little bit of time. So, um, you know, if you take your time, it's just you know, it's just three nuts. It's not a not a big deal. It's just take your time with it. Get them tightened back up, and then you can put everything back together. Don't get frustrated. Um, like I said, it's not hard. It's just cumbersome and kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, but it sure saves having to tear this whole car apart to be able to change these vents. Okay, so we've got the vent in place now, and so we've just now got to tuck the fender back underneath the uh, the window here in this rubber. So we're we're just going to try to massage this, and it's very very. Um, there's only so much that we can do with this fender. I mean, it's uh, it doesn't move that that much, and everything has to line up just exactly right. There's a little tab here at the or a little bump on the bottom of the fender that has to fit into a hole. It's like right here, and so that's going to allow us to get everything underneath. So, so we've got we've got to get this we've got to get this little guy down enough that we can get this underneath the fender, or I should say underneath the rubber. Almost got it at this point. It's just right there. That part's down. Just a little little piece here sticking out we wiggle the fender like that and she's now resealed okay and then that little bump that I was telling you about on the bottom it's now in its slot so the fender isn't exactly where it belongs and we've got we've got this side taken care of so now we just got to put our screws back in put our door back together and the screws over here on the side and we'll be good to go I'm just gonna be putting the uh, the screws back here into the into the gas door. And again, I don't. I just want to do everything hand tight. I'm not going to use a machine. No, no screw guns or anything like that. And then we've got the four screws up here in the top. And 
And you don't have to reef these screws down either. They just they just need to be need to be snug. You'll feel how how tight they are when you go to take them loose. They're not super tight. And then we've just got our three screws here in the door jam that we've got left. Again, what you've got here is it's got three keys here, so it, you're just going to line it up with those keys. It's like so, it just slides in that, like that, and then you push toward the car. Like that, it locks in place, and the door shuts. Now we're done on this side. Now we'll just move on to the other side. We're gonna, we've got four screws up here at the top part of the fender that we've got to take loose. They are not tight by any means, they're just snug, they're not super tight, so you want to remember that when you're tightening them back up, that you don't over tighten them and strip these out. Um, these are metal torque screws going into a plastic fitting, so you know you could strip it all out. Then we're going to open the door here, okay, and then we've got three more screws right here in the door jam. Now all the screws are the same so you don't have to worry about where they go. Just don't lose them so you'll have them to put back. Okay, so we got that. We're done with that part of it. Now comes the fun part. The part that nobody likes doing. Set that right there. And that's tugging on the parts of their fender. I don't think that anybody wants to do that, but I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. I'm going to kind of move the camera over here just a little bit so you can see what I'm about to do. I'm going to get up here into the meat uh, of the fender so there's more to pry on, and I'm just going to basically start pulling on it. And what we're doing, if you can see this or not, this fender is starting to come out from underneath this seal from the window. So that's what our goal is. We're just going to get that out and it pops loose just like so. Okay. At that point, we are just literally wiggling the fender back just enough to get us some room because we've got those three screws that we've got to get done, got to get loosened up here. We've got two down here at this end. We've got one right here in this corner. So um, they if you could wiggle it out just a little bit, I mean this thing hasn't been taken apart in a while so it's, you know, just wiggle wiggle but don't yank, okay? And then we can try to go ahead and get the, the nut loose. And they are they're tucked away pretty good. So you're just wanting to, see right there, I just got it to come loose just a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do now, um, is I'm just going to fast forward this so you're not having to watch this in its entirety um, because this is like I said this is the part where your patience is going to play a part if you don't have the patience to be working in this tight quarter I don't recommend you doing it have somebody um, you know have somebody do it um, you know if you live in the Sacramento area and you need this done and you don't want to tackle it yourself 
reach out to me. Um, we can we can do it for you. Um, we we do some of the installations that we uh, will do them for for people. Um, so we just have to look at what it is, and we would charge you accordingly. But just let us know if you want to do that. We can take care of it for you. Um, but uh, so these nuts are just bare, basically finger loose. They're they're just barely snug. So all you're doing is you're just gonna once you break it free with the with the wrench, you want to make sure. that you don't lose these screws down in there. Now, if you do on this side, it's not a big deal. You can reach back down in there and get it. On the driver's side, it's a little bit harder. So that's one. Now, if you can see what they look like here, let's see if I can get it up to the camera. There's where your, there's the meat where the wrench is actually, actually touching it. Um, but it has a spot where you can get your finger on it to be able to you know twist it by hand so it makes it makes it pretty easy to get it on and off the other two are exactly the same but these are much easier to get to so we've got our three screws loose okay just like that and I'm going to insert this little guy into here. Now I'm lifting up in this corner just to lift it up a little bit so I'm not getting the teeth. The teeth of this of this pry tool is actually going underneath before it ever touches the paint. So at this point I'm just literally just prying up just a little bit here. You can, you can hear it and it's it's coming loose out of the body now. Now there's just little little plastic trim tabs that are in there. So that's what's going in and it slides and it catches the edge of the fiberglass here or the composite, whatever they want to call this. And so we just kind of have to work it out. Um, just like that. Okay. And then this little guy just comes out. The new one here, same two screws, same exact setup. It's, it's designed exactly the same. So now all I'm going to do here is I'm going to, um, while I've got this open, um, I'm going to clean this off. I'm just going to wipe it down. And I've got my, my prep solution that I use. Um, I get it from Isoteric. And it's, um, it's called Q2M Prep. Um, and it is awesome for taking stuff off the car. I mean, if you have debris or, you know, gum, tar, or anything like that, it takes it right off. Um, it doesn't affect, uh, when I used it, when I first started using it, I used it um, to get the car prepped for its ceramic coat. Now, um, and then what it does, it'll strip all the wax. If you don't have ceramic coat on, this stuff will take the wax right off. Um, so, you know, if you have if you've got it ceramic coated, it won't affect it at all. Um, but this way, it's all nice and pretty in there. Okay. So at this point, we can just go ahead and we can set this little guy in place, snap it down. Okay. So at this point, we've got it snapped back in place. So it's it's all locked in with all of its snaps. So now comes again the fun part of putting the three screws back on, or the three bolts back on the bottom side of it. So again, just a little bit of patience is all it's going to take here. Um, let's see if we can do this, this back one here. So that part's done. So we've got our vent in the fender now. And so what we've got to do is we've got to tuck our fender back underneath this rubber seal. Now, this particular way this goes, when we go to tuck this down, it's going to tuck in really easy on this side, but it's going to get really, really wedged right over here. So you're just going to have to wiggle it, massage it, 
but you don't want to force it too hard, otherwise you end up breaking something, okay? So, um, you know, this is, this is not, this part is probably the, the least fun of it all to me, um, because we're so close and yet so far away. So, so we're really close there. We've got just a little bit that's pinched right there. And if we can get this up just a hair, we might be able to wiggle it around. Get underneath that rubber. And there we go. It's like so. So at that point, she's all the way sealed up. The body's right where she belongs. And so now we can just put the screws back together and we're done. So we've got our we've got our screws here. And we've got our torques. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these old guys back in. Again, you don't want to snug these up, you just snug them up. You don't want to reef them down because you're going to strip it out because, like I said, they're just going into a nylon uh, connector in there. And again, there's three on this side, and there's four up here at the top. our finished product we're good to go passenger sites completed so guys hopefully you found this video helpful and that it's going to save you a bunch of time putting your z06 vents into your c7 if it did hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that like button and hit that bell so you'll be alerted to all of our next uploads I want to thank ACS for sponsoring the channel today and be looking forward to be doing more stuff with ACS. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching.